Right, I'm trying something very new today and I hope that it works for all intents and purposes. But um, yesterday on our second, or now on our, should I say the first scoot, I had a little bit of an interesting scenario where you could hardly hear anything from the GoPro and I guess Until I get, until I get the media kit, I'm going to have to persist. And um, so I've used the lav mic in combination with a voice recorder. Once again, beautiful day. As you can see, the sun is actually a little bit higher today, which indicates to me that uh, I have started a little bit too late. I've been mucking around with this lav mic. Anyway, here we go. Yes, that is the cue to match both the lav mic sound as well as the GoPro. Alrighty, let's see, we are on third, we've got 86% today on the Mantis. This beautiful thing was absolutely amazing yesterday. A little like riding a Ferrari through the city amongst those slow ass pedestrians. Oh, let me just turn on some music. So what I'm going to do, it's going to get a little bit loud in here, all up in this place. Power on. Power on. Uh, connected, thank you. Let us squeeze through all of the, once again, through the settings to get us to that P8 beautiful level. Take that uh, eco off. And I think we're ready to go. All right, this should be interesting. So the lav bike is tucked underneath. Um, it's tucked underneath my jumper, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to give me, I guess, what I needed. So we'll see what happens. Thank you. I guess, I guess he just wanted to turn there. That's interesting. Maybe he was doing a turn, I don't know. That just makes me think, you really don't know people. You don't know what's, what people are going through. And that is the weirdest thing, see? Doesn't make sense. Maybe he was making a U-turn there. I don't know. So, so I tested the lav mic. It seems to be well covered and protected from the wind, uh, which works works a treat for me, I guess. Mm, yes, 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 yes. It works an absolute treat. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> uh. Woo I must have looked like an idiot to those people. The young kids and this damn old dude on a scooter. What's wrong with you, boy? Okay, let's go. Wow. That kind of tells me how late I am today. So, anyway, welcome to the series. This is Scooter Commute, sharing my thoughts as I'm riding the cab, cabo, 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 mantis, cabo, cabo, mantis, I could say that for days. Anyway, uh, this is episode two, the first one was really a test really and um, it turned out to be quite a success, um, but however, I noticed that the GoPro mic, I guess without the media kit, and that's the GoPro 8. Without the media kit, it really doesn't, doesn't really cut it, especially with the breeze and all that, that wind. So eventually I'll get the, uh, I forget what it's called now, it's some kind of media kit, kit attachment. And what that does is apparently allows you to plug a lav, mi lav mic straight into it. And so eventually my lav mic will end up going into the GoPro. But for now, um, for now, 
the lav mic is collecting the sound separate to the trip and um, we'll see what happens. Okay, I don't normally make those noises. Well, actually I do, shut up Gus. All right, jumping up onto the footpath. Whee! Oh shit. So one thing about the Mantis I've noticed is that it does have a lot of torque. I mean, you gotta hang on. If you hit that, if you hit that accelerator when you're actually not in eco mode, whether you're going dual or otherwise, if you've got that set to third gear, which is what I've got now, and I'm using P08, uh, I don't know what P stands for, pedal? Pedal sounds a bit redundant. Um, yes, so if you've got it set to P08 and you've got it in third gear, I'm gonna try and catch up with that dude up there. Then what happens is that it really throws the torque and then you put that then you add that um, that extra oomph with the dual motors, and what you have left is, well, you can see for yourself what's happening right about now. Mind if I take over, overtake? Thanks. <laughs> so yes, as I was saying, you add the second motor in with that dual setting as opposed to the single setting, and before you know it, you're hammering along, and you don't really feel it while you cruise at cruise speed, but I nearly said cruise altitude. That comes from flying too many drones, man. Stop flying drones. Whoa, is but yes, you, you don't feel it when you're in cruise speed, but definitely when you're actually like, definitely when you are actually, you know, taking off, you feel it specifically a lot more that way then. So I'm gonna hit that, I'm going up a bit of a hill. So I'm on single motor at the moment and the Mantis really does have a way of chewing up those hills. I'm just, oh Jesus, did you see that guys? Look at this. This guy has just stung me. And I'm trying not to do anything rash here because that really kind of hurt and he's still, damn. Oh yeah, you just made love to my hand, bro. And you left that shit, now you're gonna die. That's what happens when you try to sting somebody. Thanks, thanks for nailing my hand, man. Yeah, you didn't even buy a dinner, get off. Shit. There it is. Why me, boy? Switch that off into air eco so I don't get thrown back in my chair, put it into, there we go, wow. That really hurt. So I guess that's the highlight of this trip. May, what, <laughs> the day, the moment a bee made love to my hand and it didn't even buy a dinner. Boop, boop, ow. Oops, excuse my language. That really does hurt. Okay, I gotta watch out for this dude. I don't know if he's coming or going. Looks like he's coming, but he doesn't see me coming. I'd have to slow right down now. Get around these kids. Good morning. Watch out. Morning. Okay, let's knock it back. So yeah, as you can see, I really have come late this morning. There are kids on their way to school. And yeah, I've got to probably be a little bit more careful with my ride this morning. Not so much from the city, but, you know, from the burbs. Uh, coming out from the rural burbs. There's a lot of kids heading towards school, which I'm passing, so i got to be careful. Anyway, holy shit, that actually, I've got to stop swearing. I've got to learn how to stop swearing. So, yeah, that really stung, man. Like, I don't know what, what gives, man. What the dealio be? Some bees, I don't know. Summer bee, summer bee, summer bee. So here we go, some more kids. We hit that, just to give them that, give them that notice. And they know. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> and here I go again. So, 
got to bend those knees over the, I mean, like, let's get this right. Okay, I'm, I'm riding the, the Mantis Elite's dual motor scooter. Uh, one of these babies will set you back. You can find the price in the description. But I'll tell you right now, one thing I love about this, now I'm not a small bloke, definitely over 220 pounds, which is the usual standard weight. And if you don't know pounds, it's about 100 kgs. I am, yes, folks, over 100 kgs in weight. Um, one of these babies, when I actually went out and, and got one, looked, priced at, and I was looking at it, said that uh, the ones rated at 100 kgs, I would probably end up burning out the motors. Oh boy, I feel big. Anyway, so I picked up one of these, and the best thing I love about it is the fact that it's got some decent shock absorbers. It has some serious shocks. I mean, this thing will take out all of the turbulence. Oh, got to narrow it down here. Oh, shit. Yeah, this thing will take out all of the turbulence and uh, of hitting those rocks. Going up a hill, I'm going to smash that dual motor so I can get up that hill nice and smoothly, maintaining about 27 kg, uh, sorry, <laughs> speaking of kg, 27 kilometers an hour up this slope, which is incredible, even for a bicycle. So anyway, I'm just about here, so I'm going to switch over back to eco mode. Uh, and just make sure that life is good. But yeah, the shocks on this thing are incredible. They really do take out the, they, they take, take it all out of your back and your spine, and it's fantastic. Oh, I did not expect that. I didn't see that coming. Still gotta get used to this whole area. Anyway, I'm at the train station, so. <sighs> I will pick it up with you very soon. Hmm. There happens to be less people. Oh, look, I'm touching it on the screen. What a douche. Right. So I'm here now, safe to say. And one thing I noticed about the Mantis is when you aren't riding it, you definitely need turn it off because if you don't oh, and you accidentally hit that accelerator whew, it takes off so it's important that you do actually turn it off yeah you need to turn it off otherwise you'll end up in an accident regretting your life wondering what's happened where are all the cookies at And now we wait. Took a little bit longer than I expected. Anyway, we're here, traveling in the direction of forward. Let's see if I can take these up in the escalator. Oh, of course, insufficient funds. Just bear with me. Could do with a, a few lessons on self-esteem, the poor bloke. Apologizing for his jokes. Such a lovely guy. Oh, the whistle stop. I remember that place. So I'm going to take a different route this time, um, go through the mall, not 
so much through the ball as such around the ball. And um, see how that goes. The eco mode, jump on, and away we go. So yeah, so we'll head down uh, Edward Street. Just a little bit more tricky riding in the city uh, with so many pedestrians and unpredictability is increased. Therefore, that also increases the risk of collision. So I've just got to be very careful. Um, the Mantis does a really good job of control, I guess. It's just really about making sure we've got something happening. Okay. All right, so we've got a little bit of a, a route here. Oh, Jesus, got to be careful of this bloke. Don't know if he knows what's going on. Okay, we are on our way. We're most likely going to make, switch down to eco again. Stay on the outer CBD ring. I think it's probably the best. We'll have to cut across at some point. Hit that eco, see how we go now. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, the Mantis does, has no issues with keeping up with traffic, I guess, through the city. And uh, as you can tell, as I'm approaching, he doesn't know where he's going, she or he. So I'm gonna switch to eco mode and pull up onto the footpath. But as you can see, we're in a situation here where the car is about to turn right. The route is straight up. We'll just do eco for the moment because we've got pedestrians around. As soon as I pass an opening, I can then turn that off and we can hit that and that basically will allow us. And you can see here, I've got quite an elevation, but it seems to be carrying, not only carrying my weight comfortably. Oh, thank you not only carrying my weight comfortably, but it's also having no issues with maintaining about 27 kilometers an hour up this slope. And once again, around people, knocking it back down to eco mode. And this thing is just so easy to handle, you know. A little bit of an opening, I'll open it up again so I can speed right up and switch over to eco just to slow down. And that is the ride, my friends. Back in the office and uh, off the scooter, obviously. Power it off because that thing has a bite. When it decides to go, it goes. Floor B it is. So. <laughs> Morning. Good, good. So we've got the floor B. <coughs> so 
So hopefully you saw a little bit more of a footage of the performance in terms of city commuting. Um, just with the, the average speed around the city, you can see that um, the Mantis quite comfortably handles um, riding alongside traffic, which is really impressed about, but anyway.